friends, it's Julia Harriet here. Welcome back. We're under construction, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. You know, we are building. So this episode, we piggybacked on the last episode because it was like, wow, we really bumped up the lighting in my house last week, which was awesome with these LED fixtures that are pretty fabulous. And, you know, sometimes it's really nice to be able to control the brightness of light. And so we thought, ooh, this is a great opportunity to add a dimmer switch, especially in Mirabelle's room, because as a teenager, you know, sometimes it's not the best to start off your day with blaring light or end your day that way. You wanna chill out. So we did that. We installed a dimmer into Mirabelle's room, and that's what we're gonna share with you today so that you can change the mood in your house at a whim, which is pretty fun. So I hope you enjoy, and as always, if you have questions, if you do it yourself, you know, shoot us a message. You could jump over to my website, juliaharriet.com. That's another place that you can come play and communicate or just send us a message on here. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much. Enjoy. And now you can see that the quality of light in Mirabelle's room is substantially better and brighter and really cleaner too. I really love the wattage and the Kelvin of this light. It really makes everything so clear and clean. I've never seen Mirabelle's collections look so good. All right. Donald. Why yes, is, Julia. Thank you. Why, why is lighting important? Let me drink on that for a minute. Yeah. Um, Take your time. Okay. Very good. Muy bien. I love architecture. I get to build a house and then this next best thing or the, the best thing is going in and doing the interior design because then I get to dress the hall I've built, get to put in all the cabinets, all the fixtures, all the lighting and the lighting is what shows off all of our work, all the beautiful countertops, all the plumbing fixtures, everything. So lighting is so important, it's the best. How does it make you feel on a scale of one to 10? 10, 11. A lot. A lot. Feels. I love lighting. <laughs> like Craig likes knee pads. At one job, we got to buy uh, like 11, $7,000 chandeliers. And it just made me so giddy. It was so fun. Wow. <laughs> like Donald's Christmas. Mm -hmm. Donald's coming. Yes. So what is it? What is it? A dimmer switch? Is it? Is it? It's a switch that's dimmable. Dimmable. Dimmable a word? Dimmable. Is it able able to be dimmed? Able to be dimmed, which oh, is a dimmable, double able. Yeah. Or double able. If you have a double switch, it's double able. Dimmable switch. Maybe it's pronounced dimmable switch. I think so. That's the old Greek word. Dimmable. <laughs> dimmable. All right. So sometimes you're going to replace your switch, and you want to put in a dimmer switch. And that's great, but you have to know if it's a um, three-way switch or just a regular end-of-the-run light switch. If it's just like one light that you're operating, that's great. But if it's a three-way switch, meaning, for example, you're at the top of the stairs, you got a light switch, you got a light that illuminates, you turn it on, you got a light that illuminates the hallway and the stairs, then at the bottom you can turn it off. That's a three-way switch. Now, in this case, we're not going to be doing a three-way switch. We're just going to be doing a regular light switch, just to one light fixture. But this one is ready for three-way or two-way. Now, see, they got this tape on here that's blocking it off that just says, you know, you don't need to use this unless it's a three-way. And so we're only going to be using this terminal, this terminal, and, of course, the green, our ground terminal. So we're going to be safe. This could be used for a three-way, but... We only need it for two-way today. So we're gonna leave that tape on there so no one will get into that. And uh, there you go. And we like the toggle switch variety with the side up down dimmer. It's sexier than the old school toggles. Okay, there you go. She just got the spicy bite, she needs a sip. So Julia, yes. what do you love the most about life and living and love? I thought you were going to ask me about lighting. Um, life? Lighting sucks. What about life? <laughs> um, I like tickles. Mostly. <clears throat> See, I'm still choking from the 
You know, choking is bite. a lot of like love where <laughs> it feels a little tight sometimes, but when you get tickled, it just feels good. I just saw on Amazon, they have a light that actually tickles you. Really? How much yeah. does it cost? Oh, it's like $5,753. That's well, a lot cheaper than a husband. Way cheaper. Yeah. And you can unscrew it and throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> I would recycle. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, what's your favorite thing about lighting? I know your lighting sucks in your house, so we're working on it now. Yeah, yeah. That's why I like candles. I like gentle lighting. Mm -hmm. I don't want a lot of like crazy lighting. What are we gonna do with that can lighting in your uh, slope ceilings? Put the right fixtures. Is it bulbs or fixtures, Donald? Uh, I mean, bulbs. Okay, we're gonna put the right bulbs in. But right now you have um, like light bulbs in there and they need to be floodlights yeah. so they shine down right yeah well you know sometimes you make mistakes as long as you take the lesson with you mistakes are very and worthwhile and you fix it so that your house doesn't look like shit then you're doing everything in good time except if you have bright lighting and you see all the shit well yeah but that's why you dust and stuff right what you dust yeah you don't have somebody to dust for you no, I'm the, I'm the duster. <laughs> Here, I'm the premier duster. All right, great. We got the switch off. Wow, Craig. Got the headlamp on. You got it. Got the knee pads on. Okay. I got a plant. It's touching me Look in this. inappropriate place. Look at this plant. <laughs> Okay. All right. I don't know why that's there, but sometimes you got to deal with that. They're clients. Yeah. What are you going to do? The client has plants. All right, cool. Okay. Now I need my. Okay, we're in here. Phillips. What are we doing? We're going to replace this switch with a dimmer because the light that we installed is nice and bright, but too bright for certain occasions. Sometimes we want a nice bright light for utilitarian purposes. So you can see what the heck's going on. But most of the time we want ambiance. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to say to your followers? Um, I've got a question what they want to see in the future. We well, yeah, like obviously you want to see certain things, maybe not us just talking about ourselves in a Mexican restaurant, but maybe more of that. What's so wrong with this? Nothing. We're going to take you to some awesome places. It's going to be a destination construction. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Can we go to Bali? Yes. Mm -hmm. We're just going to show up and start constructing. Yes. Where do you want us to go is more of the question. Bali. Yeah, Bali, sure. Bali, please, Bali. Yeah, Bali, Bali, Bali. Where do you want to go? You know, France. oh, like Salem, Oregon. <laughs> Come on. Have you ever been to Oregon, Washington? Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh my God. There's so many projects we could do. We could do a pig pen <laughs> for adults. Is that a pig to pen? <laughs> I like that. What is a pig to pen? <laughs> Big Ben for adults. Okay, uh, that's rude. Craig, you know, did you graduate high school? Yes, I did. Don. You did? Cool. I what did. kind of grades did you get? In college, I got a 4.0 my last year in a three, a two-year community college. I spent three years there, got a 4.0. And you know what I was taking? I had four drama classes mm. and one aerobics class, 4.0. Mm. And guess what? My mom put my report card on the fridge so proud okay here's the switch we're putting in it um, turns uh power on and off and this uh, one has a slide bar so you can control how much power goes into the light to make it <coughs> brighter Craig, or Craig, less brighter. shine your light on this shine your yeah, light on this look at that wow. i love these things and then there's a slide bar okay you gotta love electricity that's neat okay Great. So, of yes. all uh, of all the loves in your life, what is your favorite love? What's your what do you love the most? <sighs> That's a great question. No one's ever asked me that before. What's my favorite love? Well, um, Julia. Yeah. I mean, besides yourself, you gotta love yourself before you can love anybody I else. I think you told me that I really like myself a lot. You do. Yeah. I admire that about you. Yeah. Well, you gotta love yourself before you can love anybody else. Mm -hmm. It shows. Yeah. That's, you know, the key to construction is you can't build for other people if you can't build your own shit. That's Cut right. That. Come on. 
That's right. Julia for president. Okay. You undid the ground here. wire. Yep. Actually, we're doing undoing everything. Right? Stretch it out. Here we go. I like to get these kinks. Oh, your spit, hands look nice, Craig. Spit. It's oh, a tracer. The electricians put that kink in there so they know where it's coming from. So, so that, that kink neutral? means it's power. That's the power? Oh, yeah, and nice. this is neutral. Oh, okay, cool. What a great little trick there. All right, so here you got your little green screw there. Yeah. It's usually the ground, or always the ground. Okay. Here we go. Eliminate old switch. Okay. We actually don't need this. What think. are those called? This right here? Yeah. The screen thing? Doodly bopper? It's, no, yeah. It, it ties it's, these it's, two it's a, ground. A so what is it called? Called wire, wire nut. nut. Or a doodly bopper. Or a doodly bopper wire nutty. Are you like empowering some bean right now? Yeah. I saw something come into your spirit just in your, like your eyes lit up. I need to blow my nose, but yes. I'll blow it. Maybe that's the spirit coming out. Okay. No cane, cocaine was used in this episode. Um, my deepest question is, yeah. what is your greatest fear? What is my greatest fear? Sorry for that one. Jesus Christ. How come I'm asking you, like, what was your favorite lighting moment? <laughs> um, I've, I've never known before. My greatest fear. I don't think I have fears anymore. I don't either. You know, my greatest fear, Donald, is not going forth with what I know that I'm here to do completely. See, here's God calling. God's like, yo, Julia, just keep going. Well, I'm, you're, you're... I'm going to answer. Just <laughs> hold on. I'm on video. <laughs> Should be there in a second. Yeah, it's like my kids, you know, they don't respect my space. God doesn't either for a minute. You know, it's like, ah, I'm trying to talk. But yeah, it's mostly if I didn't follow my heart, that would be my greatest fear. Because yeah. if I do, everything will be okay. Definitely. Even, even the hard parts. How does this relate to uh, light switches? Well, flipping on your own light. I mean, you know. I know you can do that. <laughs> really fast. That's something that I perfected at 41, almost 42, is, you know, you don't know how much time you have on this planet. And so you also don't know how much time in any given moment as a mom to get off, you know, which is turning on. And so... And if you can catch a man to follow you home, sneak out to the cabin. I don't know that. I, I mean, know. I, I perfected it, Donald. I mean, that would be potentially interesting maybe not it could be slowing me down especially some of the guys here <laughs> you know what do you think mary Magdalene did to get off well she had jesus and i bet they had a lot of fun you know oh, i bet he washed your feet a lot well they just traveled and if you had no fear which is your original question um and you got to just connect with people and you were traveling and enjoying and fearless. Imagine how fun that would be. Well, especially if you're spreading the word of love. Yeah, not just spreading it, being it. And giving it, yeah. That sounds really good. That's like the best vacation. Can we sell that at the inn? You know, Dawn has an inn and um, I'm thinking about what's the best vacation package we could launch this summer. The Jesus package. How much can we sell love for? And are we going to sell by the pound or the minute or? I like gold. I, yes. We've still talked about gold. Well. Gold. Gold. We got the grand wire hooked up first. <clears throat> and then this is going to be the black wire going to the black nut here. Wait, how do you know that's the black one there? Because there's two black wires coming out. How do you know the, that? This black wire had a kink in it, and the electricians always put a kink in the wire if it's the main feed in the black wire if there's two black wires coming in okay. and i'll have to hire an electrician to explain that to us later how they do that can't see can't see under here there we go sorry these wires i hate electricity <laughs> <laughs> that's why really you should hire an electrician really yeah. and doing your own shit 
And I wanted to talk to you about fingers. Which is your favorite finger? Oh my God, look, the lights are blinking. The lights are blinking as we're interviewing yeah, now. Yeah, this is so good. We're having a huge storm right now. Yeah, that's why we're in a Mexican restaurant. And the figuring. lights are blinking because I just asked you about fingers. We're about to do an episode about lighting and we might have to make our own. The candles. Oh my God. Yeah, how do you light a candle? <laughs> it's such a good episode. What's the best candle to buy? Like the good smelling ones. No, you're not overwhelming. Like it smells like a pimp, but like, you know, the ones that are like vanilla. What do pimps smell like? Sounds like there's rats in the AC. Do you hear that? The, the alarm's going off. I think there's a bomb. We're in a, you know, type four tycoon. Three, tycoon. Hey. Also known as a typhoon. Do you hear the rat home? Oh, it's hailing outside. Yeah. <laughs> so what, I see you have a lot of rings. What's your favorite ring? This one. Oh, that is beautiful. Is it like um, alabaster? It's turquoise. Turquoise. Yeah. Can I see it again? Oh, yeah, look at that. Figuring on that. Do you do your nails yourself? Or? Yeah, look at them. Beauty. Julia. I'm really good with my thumb. <laughs> I bet you are. <laughs> <laughs> Call 1 900. <laughs> All right, now that we have the proper dim in this, we're going to take our. <laughs> we're going to take our uh, 10 in 1, and I'm switching it back to my um, Phillips screwdriver. Yeah. So here's the deal any normal person would just go and turn off the power again. But you know what, Julia? I'm not going to do that because I'm not normal. <laughs> Okay, I'm knocking over like stuff. And I, I feel like this like, is the client's bedroom. I mean, my, um, where's my safety? The clients goggles? don't like it when we're in their bedroom, no. but sometimes you got so Mirabel is not gonna like Here's this. the deal I can push it back in, but if I touch that terminal, not that one, that one's just the ground. That's fine, I can touch the ground. Oh, not a worry. But if I touch that guy, and I can get shocked. So I'm just like, I don't have time to mess with this stuff, so I'm just gonna push it in myself. But you wanna make sure that things go in gently and nice and evenly and you're not crimping wires, you're not smashing stuff in there. Too bad, okay, here we Gen go. Gently and firmly. So then, okay, cool, I got this here. Sometimes I use a power screwdriver for this, but you know, really I like to do hand screwing. You should really have your light thing on. Okay. Now see, look, do you notice the convenience of the knee pads right now? Boom, I just didn't even think about it. I had to kneel down, but and they're already there. So that's great. And I got my headlamp on. I need a headlamp with glasses on them because I can't see squat without my glasses. There you go. Mm -hmm. Bam, we're gonna do that. We shove it in. Okay, we got this here. Okay. <clears throat> it's a nice technique. Yeah. I think it's called righty tidy lefty loosey. Try to come up over it. And then you, you want to make sure that your switch is nice and straight and it's not all cattywampus, you know. This would be a good application for a lever. A lever? What kind of lever? What's a lever? Oh, I mean lever. I mean level. <laughs> oh. <laughs> lever is stuck in my head somehow. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, when people misuse terms, sometimes it really sticks. It sticks. Yeah, it does. There we go. Just make sure it's okay. nice and okay. levered. Yeah. You're make screwing. sure it's perfectly levered. Okay, we're almost there. How okay. do you know when you're there? Well, it'll, it's going to stop turning to the right. Okay. Okay. I always like knowing when I'm there. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We're almost there yet. Are we there yet? Look, if you say that one more time, I'm turning this light switch around <laughs> and we're going home. Okay. Good one. Aww. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got the cover plate for you. Look at that. Woo! Up, down. Okay, wait, let's get a. Okay, do it again. Okay. Okay. Light, you just have your head. Light on. Okay, wait. I'm gonna. Uh, okay, wait. There we go. Oh. Uh, Oh, that's really good. Uh, yeah. Mostly you're yeah. in the way, but that's sweet. We hope you liked this episode. And even more so, we'd love to hear what projects around the house you'd like to see done because maybe it's something that you're really excited about taking on. 
this spring and summer and you'd like a little help, you'd like a builder buddy. So please, you know, send us a message and we will read them. And if we can and we like your idea, we'll take it on and we'll ping you in it. And you know, then you can share with us how the building goes on your end as well. It can be really fun. So I look forward to it. Thanks so much for joining. Subscribe because then we can stay in contact like pen pals because who doesn't like a pen pal for reals? All right. Thank you. Love you.